I decided to do a quick video as I was going through my emails here and I came across an email that I wanted to respond to. It is from a guy who says, I need help with becoming a man who's not very sensitive. So uh, I wanted to kind of read you this and it's a short email, but I think you're gonna find this really, really helpful because I know a lot of you are struggling with, with a similar problem here. So he says, good evening, John. I want to reach out to you about the situation that I've been facing. I've been watching your videos lately and I've had an issue. I'm still struggling with people say that the most negative things about me all the time and I get emotionally hurt. It's hard to ignore. And I'm always told to ignore them and stop caring about what others say, but it's very hard. I'm a man and I'm tired of being emotional and sensitive. Nobody wants to see a man like that. I'm just way too sensitive. Anytime someone says something rude and asks it to me, I get hurt and feel emotional. I don't know how to do that and I need to change. People have called me stupid, ugly, and useless. People tell me that there's nothing wrong with being sensitive, but I have been through so much hell in my life because of this. There's nothing wrong with trying to be less sensitive. In my work, coworkers criticize my appearance and call me stupid because I keep underperforming at work. I struggle with keeping up and holding up the same pace like everyone else. I'm a slow learner and their negative words hurts me. How can I stop caring about what others say about me? So this is really important, guys. So there's a few things I wanna say here, first of all, which is that a lot of people will tell you, stop, you know, there's nothing wrong with being sensitive and, and being emotional. They're, they're right and they're wrong in the sense that there's nothing wrong with having emotions as a man. I think a lot of people that attack masculinity and attack Stoic philosophy, they, they say, oh, it's emotionless. Like, don't tell guys not to have feelings. Don't tell guys not to cry, all these things. And they're not getting the point. The point is not to be emotionless. The point is to process your emotions. There's three things you can do with emotions. One of them is that you can express them. Okay, that's just unleashing on people, dumping on people. The, the second one is you can repress them. That's where you're not, you're just ignoring them. You're ignoring the pain. You're ignoring the things that you feel, trying to stuff it down. And the third one is to process them is where you acknowledge how you feel and you let yourself be what it is. You don't need to express it out to everyone else. You push it down, but you just let it be what it is and it passes through you. You experience the emotion and let it go. Now, I wanted to provide that as a little bit of a background before we get into you know this solution here for the gentleman that emailed me. But here's the thing to, to think about in, in terms of this, because I know this is really difficult, but it's really important. You really do need to get to a point where you don't allow the things that people say to affect you. And the way that you do that is by letting go of expectations. Here's the, the problem, the key problem, the reason why these things are affecting you. The reason why is because you care, because you expect that people are gonna treat you in a certain way. In fact, what you could actually do is what Marcus Aurelius had mentioned in, in his meditations, one of his practices, which is the opposite, where he said, essentially, wake up in the morning and expect that people are gonna be rude, that they're gonna be slobs, that they're gonna treat you poorly, they're gonna say boorish things, or all kinds of stuff like that, I, I'm paraphrasing. But he was saying, like, hey, have the expectation that people are going to treat you badly, that they're going to be this way, that people are idiots, basically. I'd rather you have no expectation at all, but if you're going to have any kind of expectation, expect the opposite. Expect the thing that you know is coming, that people are idiots. I always say people are NPCs. They're just running their own script. They're running their programming. And here's the thing, again, looking at it from that perspective, is that if people are NPCs, okay, if they're just running their programming, if they don't intentionally harm you, they don't know what they're doing, they're just idiots, they're just running some script where they say stupid stuff to you, then does it really offend you? You choose always to be offended. I know that's easier said than done, but if you realize that people are just ignorant, I don't ascribe to malice what can be ascribed to ignorance. This is a, an, another <laughs> true quote here, but when you really internalize this and really think about what does this mean, what does this mean? It means that just because someone's doing some stupid stuff and they're calling you names or whatever it is, they're treating you poorly, they're doing that out of unconsciousness. They lack awareness. Every problem in life is a lack of awareness. All mean, all evil in life, there's no such thing. It's just a lack of awareness. Someone who is truly aware and the more aware that you become, the less you harm other people because you see that it harms yourself and you see no benefit in that. When we're harming people, we're trying to get something. We're trying to get some kind of validation. We're trying to prove ourselves in some way. There's no reason to harm someone 
if you are well content and have a high esteem of yourself? Why would you do it? So all of these people that are, are saying negative things to you, that are trying to harm you, you're allowing them to, by the way, but they are suffering from esteem problems themselves. You're suffering from an esteem problem. They are suffering from an esteem problem. That's why they're reacting that way because they're like, well, at least let me be higher than you. And they're trying to shove you down so they can feel better about themselves. I'm sure you've heard some of these things in, in terms of bullying before. Here's the thing. The way to respond to this is with kindness. I know this sounds not very masculine, but it is the most masculine response is because if you want to be a strong man, you have to act like a strong man. So what does a strong man do in this kind of situation? Well, he says, you know what? This person is ignorant. This person, they lack awareness. They're hurting in some way. They lack self-esteem. Maybe someone has damaged them. Maybe they're being abused by someone and, and they're, they're kicking the dog. They're crying out for help, essentially. They're repeating what they have learned, the patterns that they've learned in their lives. And so let me be a bigger man. Let me be magnanimous and let me have some empathy for this person, even though they are throwing out vile things to me. And, and let me be kind to them. Let me try and, and ease their burden because I'm a strong enough man. I don't need to to be offended by these things. I know who I am. I know what my value is. I know where I lack as well. I'm not perfect. I have faults. I have, I have lacking in my character and in, in the things that, that I do. And, and some of these things people are pointing out and that's great. They're doing it in the wrong way, but that's fine. I can still take that into consideration. But because of that, I can respond to them with kindness. I can say, something kind to them in response and not get triggered, not get upset. See, the, the key thing about this is to not let it affect you. It may hurt internally and that's fine. And over time, as you let go of expectations and you don't expect people to treat you in a certain way or to act a certain way, that hurt will also disappear. But in the meantime, just respond with kindness. You know, give them a compliment back. Do not feed into it at all. Do not let them see you get upset. Do not let them see you get angry. Just go about your day and just say some kind words back. And if they continue to berate you or continue to say, just exit the conversation. Just don't talk to people, remove your attention from them. See, anyone who's bullying, what they're seeking is a response. If you don't provide a response, they will stop the, the bullying. So we have to solve this from two angles. The first one is we have to control your responses because your responses are what's causing you to continue to get bullied and it's causing you to continue to be harmed. So if you change your responses and you start killing them with kindness, as much as it might pain you to do that, because you're the bigger guy, you're gonna to start to see that it's not gonna be fun for them to pick on you. It's not gonna be fun, because you're not giving me a kind of response. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing that we need to work on is the internal thing. Again, you have to let go of expectations. Do not expect people to act right. Expect them to act wrong. And, and also, don't blame them for it. It's not their fault, they're idiots. They're running a program, they're running a script. I know that everyone's responsible for their own actions, but you need to take the perspective of it's not their fault. They're, they're just dumb. It's like you, a dog, let's say like a dog. Dogs, some dogs are, are fairly smart, but when a dog does something wrong, whose fault is it? Is it a dog's fault or is it the owner's fault? It's the owner's fault because the dog's response to training, it's an animal. You can't be angry at them for, for being idiots. It's just who they are. They, they don't know any better. They lack awareness. And over time, maybe they'll gain that awareness, but you can be a person who has awareness and not respond that way and not have the expectation that someone who lacks awareness is gonna act like a person who has awareness. You just have to know what they are. Again, if you had a tiger in a cage and you stuck your arm in the cage and the tiger bit off your arm, would you be angry at the tiger? No, you, I knew what I had in the cage. It was a tiger. I stuck my arm in there. I got a bit. If you're around people that are idiots, that call you names, that are brash and don't have common sense, and they do that, are you angry? Are you upset? Does it hurt you? In my opinion, no. Why? Because you already expect that because you know what you're getting. So. That's my advice for you. For those of you guys that want some extra help with this, in the Bulldog Mindset Membership, I have a ton of videos on mindset, on dealing with social skills, emotions, stuff like that, as well as the group coaching calls that we do every month, the community, all, all the accountability that you have, financial, real estate, business, all that kind of stuff in building your physique. So all the kind of stuff that you want to become the more masculine, strongest version of yourself possible. Again, it, it's in there, click the link down below if you, if you want to check that out. But yeah, thanks for the email. And I hope that you guys find some value in, in what I said here, but practice those things. Like I said, let go of the expectations and kill them with kindness.